The downfall of iDubs has been a slow, painful process, with little to no redemption in sight. However, in today's video, we'll be going over that downfall. Idubs at the time was best known for his content cop style videos alongside his unboxings. However, he was primarily known for his content cop style videos where he would critique and break down a content creator and being quite controversial why he did so. Most famously, he did a diss track with Boy in a Band on Rice Gum, which we will talk about later. This arguably grew Idubs' channel and his brand in general, as a guy who didn't care and would call out people for being hypocritical and other things. However, after years of being well respected within his community, things started to take a drastic change. Idubs' girlfriend would start an OnlyFans, where Idubs would be fully accepting of this and would take to a YouTube video to explain why. An OnlyFans account, which is a website where you can upload amateur porn. Anything from double penetration all the way over to lewd cosplay and everything in between and uh, I think all of it is cool. People would attack Ian for his simping, seeing as that sort of the stuff that Idubs would attack during his content cops. Are people calling you a simp? <laughs> I mean... I face of a man who looks like he's a right idiot. To add to the cause of hypocrisy because of this drama, Ian and his girlfriend would even subtract some of the claims they made during the content cops saying they regret some of the stuff they said. I believe we literally harassed an 18 year old child uh, at her show. It's like kind of- That's a, I guess when you put it that it way, it's it not, it that, that not like horrendous. Yeah. It's horrendous. <laughs> it's probably like my most embarrassing, like it is. Yeah, I mean it was, it was like, uh, I can, recognize why it was entertaining i could also recognize why it was completely out of line. i mean it was fine when they were getting millions of views but now you're being called out yourself they're not fine however idubs's glimmer of hope came in the form of youtube boxing where he would pull off one of the best youtube boxing events creator clash stick to the philosophy of we want surprises we want you know new fighters we want it to be a little bit of a mystery some of the card, if not half the card, needs to be people that we haven't seen before. Because we can't just have the same people return every year. People thoroughly enjoyed Creator Clash and people thought IDUPS was bad. However, this perception wouldn't last very long. I did not like the interactions that I had with fans. There were quite a few human beings that I interacted with that just sucked. Because I attracted a lot of people who sucked. Some people were very much like antisocial, weird, basement dwellers. You know, the one time a month that they come out of their cave and they run into me, their favorite YouTuber. What would they say? What would they do? Things that I am certainly not gonna repeat. <laughs> I'm talking bad words. Words that we only say by describing the first letter? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. that, boy, man, what a powerful way of putting it. Whilst being interviewed by Anthony Padilla, Idubs would come out and say that he disliked a large portion of his fans and the interactions he had with them due to how they would react around to him. To make things worse, instead of Ian responding to this, his girlfriend would respond, which brought up the simp rumors again. If things couldn't already get worse for Ian around the exact same time, his rice gum content cop was taken down, losing 50 million plus views from the iDubs channel. And if you thought it was all over, you couldn't be more wrong. Dubs' girlfriend Anissa's mum basically started having a beef with a content creator called Froggy Fresh, who was fighting under Creator Clash 2. What don't I see? Anissa's mom is saying, hoping that somebody replaces that imp. Now I go into Google to see what imp was, and they said it's a small devil. She don't know a darn thing about me. I don't appreciate it. We're trying to raise money for charity. If someone can come get her and take her home, give her a coat and take her home. Anissa's mother would make more sly remarks before deactivating her account. Case of brain damage. Better have that looked at along with your obviously shrunken balls. Because of this, Crater Clash would make a statement saying they were removing Froggy from the event. There has been a change in the lineup and Froggy Fresh will no longer be fine against Chris Raygun. We will announce his replacement in the coming days. With just three weeks left, the countdown to Crater 2 has begun. There was a lot of negative reactions with Froggy reacting by saying comments off question mark and then a lot of retweets, including a retweet of my tweet. Sam hired his people, those he brought into work with me, along with Carlos Wrangler at the Square Circle Boxing Academy have treated me with great kindness, respect, and have taught me so much along the way. I'm really disappointed by this. Kicking him for Twitter controversy after months of training is brutal. I don't think any jokes he made were intended to be mean-spirited or shit on anyone. Hopefully they reconsider this decision, said Moist Critical. In my personal opinion, I think this reaction is too much and could be the final nail in iDubs' coffin.